Oh no, it's worse than that, man. Has a theme from oh, yesterday oh. carried over, Kevy? It's late. It, it's in the game. Yeah, they say I'm actually hacking in the game. You, you'll see. You'll see. Hang on one second here. I just got to get Lord Lord Bugger off ready to go. He's being a real pain in the ass tonight. Okay, here we go. All right, so here's Lord Buggeroff. Listen in. This is about six minutes, so hang in there with it. Here we go. Thank right. you, Kevy Sieb. This is a breaking news alert. While Kevy Sieb was playing a Tier 6 match today, an unnamed player took a screenshot of Kevy Sieb's destroyer. The ship apparently did not in any way, shape, or form match any of the available destroyers at that tier. There are several items of concern, beginning with the shape of the hull of the ship. Kevy Sieb, would you care to explain this first concern? Well, Lord Lord Buggeroff, that's that's easy. You see, when I was leaving port, uh, there was a uh, there was a Farragut in front of me. So I naturally uh, rammed him in the rear, and it completely altered the shape of the bow. Uh, it happens all the time. Nothing to be concerned with. I see. Would you then care to explain the apparent use of missiles on the destroyer? Well, that, that's another easy-to-explain item. You see, uh, believe it or not, I'm having a hard time finding crew members for my ship. You know, all this preoccupation with dying on the job and that kind of stupid stuff. So the latest crew I have is just well, not real good at cleaning out the guns. So what, what you see is a bunch of smoke and stuff, but that's all from the soot that's in the barrels of the guns. It, it by no means represents a rocket contrail like someone has accused me of doing. I see. Then let's move on to the third item of concern. The shape of the superstructure appears to be, how shall we say, rather unique. Well, once again, it's, this has happened to all of us in this game. I was, uh, I was brawling with a, with a tier five cruiser, and uh, got too close to it. But I was lucky enough to blow it up with some torpedoes. And you may not believe this. I don't believe it myself sometimes. But the hull of the ship split into pieces, and one of the pieces flew onto my destroyer and landed upside down and that's what gives it that kind of unique shape uh, it did it did fall off after the game was over so everything is back to normal now nothing to be concerned with I see let me move on to the final and what appears to be the most disturbing item the apparent non-missile, as you claim, that seems to be arcing up into the air, then following a trajectory that indicates this non-missile has some type of laser guidance built in. Can you offer an explanation for that, Kevy Sieb? No problem there. This is a, it's a result of wargaming 
doing something funny with the clouds. They obviously program the clouds to be too thick, uh, too dense. So when I fired the normal shell out of a normal gun, albeit a bit dirty, the shell went up into the atmosphere, bounced off of the cloud that was not programmed properly, and then luckily happened to fall down and maybe make a, a little right turn. But in, in any case, it, it was just a sheer lucky shot and it uh, and it hit the ship. I see. Uh, forgive me for a moment. I need to turn off the lie detector machine next to me for fear of it exploding in my skinless face. Well, Kevin Sieb, you have cleared up this issue completely, in my opinion. Of course, my opinion has nothing to do with the fact that I am solely at your mercy in terms of existence. So, with that fact, unimportant as it may be, let me say that the controversy should be cleared up quickly, you are obviously in a standard ship, tier 6, with normal weapons, nothing that's out of the ordinary. However, allow me to just place this image on the screen and see what you think of it. Oh. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, we seem to have lost our news feed. Um, yeah, n nothing. Yeah, okay, so I'm sorry for that technical failure on the part of the news team. I don't know what happened to that. Yeah, I mean, any resemblance to a uh, current-day Zumwalt-class U.S. destroyer is purely accidental. That, yeah, don't pay any attention to that. So, so I'm not hacking. That's, I think I proved that beyond a shadow of a doubt. Okay, well, I'm so glad I could clear that issue up for everyone. <clears throat> okay, so let's let's that move. Was some, that was some big, you know, accusations they were giving. I th yeah, and I'm I'm glad I was able to clearly explain everything and leave everyone confident. That, as far as you know, I am not indeed hacking. 